Okay, so this is the second video on the oxy anion uh, series. So last time we went from the eight prefix or eight suffix to the it suffix. Now in this we're going to in this video we're going to go from it to um, hypo, which is a prefix, and then um, it, which is our suffix. Okay, so again, just like in the last video, we had um, just oxygens changing. Okay, so if I went from eight to it, that was minus one oxygen. Now it looks like ten, but it's minus one oxygen atom. Okay, so carbonate would be CO three two minus carbonite would be CO two two minus. Remember, the charge doesn't change. Okay. Now, if I'm going from ite to hypoite, I would subtract yet another, one more oxygen. Okay, so if I was to go from 8 to hypoite, that would be removing two oxygens. So, let's go ahead and take a look at an example. Um, again, I'm going to focus mainly on these guys right here. Okay, so chlorate, or sorry, carbonate. Nitrate, phosphate, sulfate, chlorate. Okay, and again, the other ones, they'll all follow the same rules that the five that I'm selecting right here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pick on nitrate this time. So I have nitrate, which is NO3 minus. Okay, so that's nitrate. Okay, now if I wanted to go nitrite, I would simply remove one oxygen, but I want to form hypo nitrite. In this case, I would have to remove two oxygens, so it would be NO minus. Okay, so remember, to go from here to here, I need to lose two oxygen atoms off of the ion. Okay, so take one more example. Uh, We'll go back to phosphate. Why not? So there's phosphate, 3 minus. That is phosphate. If I wanted to go hypo phosphite, right, I need to lose two oxygens. So I'd go PO2, 3 minus. Again, remember, charges don't change here, just the number of oxygens. Do you have any questions? Ask in class.